in this uh, session we will discuss the lubricant topic with reference to the previous discussion in last video we have discussed some of the points of topic lubricant where we have learned the definition of lubricant then properties of lubricant and functions of lubricant so in this uh, particular session uh, we will discuss the two properties of lubricant that are called as acid value and saponification value of a lubricant and also we will discuss how to determine acid value and sap value of a lubricant so what is the outcome of today's, uh, today's session at the end of this session student will be able to write definition of acid value saponification value of lubricant and also student will be able to determine acid and sap value of an oil sample by using the numericals so the content of the today's session is to learn the properties of lubricant such as acid value and saponification value and also after that learning we will apply the knowledge of acid value and saponification value for the determination of acid value and sap value of a given sample of oil now what is acid value as all the lubricants are taken from a source of nature such as mineral oil or petroleum oil is there so all these oils are rich in uh, mineral oils or free acids and therefore acid value of a lubricating oil is nothing but the number of milligrams of koh that is potassium hydroxide required for neutralizing the free acids present from a 1 gram of oil sample generally lubricating oil should possess acid value less than 0.1 gram per mole this will consequently lead to corrosion besides gum and sludge formation so the acids present in a lubricating oil and if you use such a oil uh, for lubricating the machine the acids from the oil may corrode the metallic surfaces and therefore it is very important to learn ki what level of mineral acids are present in a given sample of oil that we are going to use as a lubricant and thus the acid value is nothing but the number of milligrams of koh required for neutralizing the free acids from a one gram of the oil now the same thing we can represent with the help of formula also so what is the formula to calculate acid value of a given sample of oil so acid number it is also called as acid number or acid value is equal to number of mls of n by 10 koh used for the titration to phenolphthalein indicator divided by weight of the oil sample taken and multiplied by 5.6 that is the standard uh, factor is there and by using this formula one can easily calculate what is the number of mineral acids present in a given sample of oil so with this uh, i can uh, i will ask one question here so mineral acids present in lubricant causes so we are assuming that key lubricating oil is there and in which certain level of mineral acids are present so mineral acids present in lubricant causes option number one better lubrication second option corrosion of metal third option increases viscosity of lubricant and last option none of these so what is my question Ki mineral acids present in lubricant causes what is the effect of mineral acids present in a given sample of lubricating oil is there so think for one or two minutes and the options are better lubrication corrosion of metal increases viscosity of lubricant and none of these so the correct answer is the mineral acids present in a given sample of lubricating oil causes corrosion of metal actually there is no relation of mineral acids with the lubrication of metal because viscosity itself is responsible for the protection of metal but mineral acids if present in a given sample of oil definitely it causes the corrosion of metal and because of corrosion there is a dimensional loss of metallic surfaces now it is the second uh, property of the oil uh, of today's session that is saponification value we also know that a lubricating oil uh, getting from a source of mineral oils as well as vegetable and animal oils all these oils are also rich in saturated hydrocarbon 
even it is observed that ki mineral oil contains very negligible amount or very less amount of saturated hydrocarbons whereas the vegetable and animal oil consists of considerable amount of the uh, saturated hydrocarbons therefore the saponification value guides us ki what is the total number of milligrams of koh required to saponify 1 gram of oil so here saponification value we can learn from formula also so what is the formula it consists of one experiment so the experiment divides into two parts one part is that we have to perform the experiment with the sample and the second part is that we have to perform the experiment without sample so without sample experiment is called as blank experiment and with sample experiment called as the test experiment so we require the difference so what is that difference ki volume of n by 2 hcl that is hydrochloric acid required in blank experiment minus the volume of n by 2 hcl required in test experiment divided by weight of the oil in grams and multiplied by a standard factor that is 28 now after learning the two uh, properties one is acid value and second one is saponification value we will apply our knowledge to solve or to do the practice of numericals as the source of lubricating oil is in nature therefore all oil sample consist of trace or more amount of mineral acids which may cause corrosion of the metallic parts thus it is very important to determine mineral acids present in a given sample of oil so i would like to ask one numerical on the basis of acid value knowledge so what is the numerical in an acid value determination experiment 8 g of oil sample required 4.5 ml of n by 10 koh solution for neutralization therefore calculate acid value of oil sample so the data is given to you the weight of the oil uh, sample we have taken in experiment is 8 g and what is the volume we require for neutralization that is 4.5 ml so this is the formula we know acid number or value is equal to ml of n by 10 koh required for neutralization of acids divided by weight of the oil taken in gram multiplied by 5.6 just we'll keep the values given in our numerical so 4.5 divided by 8 multiplied by 5.6 and the answer we got is that 3.15 grams per mole so it indicates that ki 3.15 gram of mineral acids are present in a 1 mole of the lubricating oil and it should be less than 0.1 and the answer itself indicates that in a given sample of the lubricant the level of the mineral acid is more and therefore definitely such oil corrodes the metallic surfaces if you are using such a oil as a lubricant even we will apply our knowledge uh, with the help of the numerical uh, for saponification value also and what is the saponification value a measure of the total free and combined acids especially in a fat wax or resin expressed as the number of milligrams of koh again required for the complete saponification of 1 gram of oil so we know that saponification process is nothing but the reaction of alkali with the higher fatty acids are there and a result is that it forms the soap so this reaction or this test indicates that what is the level of saturated hydrocarbons or higher fatty acids present in a given sample of oil because there is no relation of higher fatty acids with the lubrication because if the higher fatty acids are more it will not protect the metal from the wear and tear which factor protects the metal from wear and tear the viscosity oiliness these are the major properties of the oil which will protect the metal from the wear and tear but acid value as well as saponification value will not protect the metal from wear and tear but it may cause the different issues so one we already learned in acid value the acids present may corrode the metallic surfaces and the saturated hydrocarbons present may form the soap during the reaction so what is the numerical 7 g of oil after saponification with 50 ml of n by 20 alcoholic koh and on subsequent titration with n by 2 hcl gives a titration value of 10 ml to phenolphthalein end point 
a blank experiment was conducted without taking oil and on repeating the same procedure it gives titration value of 50 ml calculate the saponification value of oil so what is the saponification experiment we are taking oil sample and then it is treated with a koh and the excess koh left after saponification is measured by titrating with n by 2 hcl and the same experiment we are performing without blank so what happens in uh, blank uh, without sample so all the koh the same volume it gives the n by 2 hcl so we got the 50 ml for blank whereas for sample we got the reading of only what is that n by 2 is 10 ml so we'll put uh, the values in the formula so what is the formula that is volume of n by 2 hcl required for blank experiment minus volume of n by 2 hcl required for the test experiment divided by weight of the oil in grams multiplied by 28 so if you keep the values here that is 50 minus 10 divided by 7 multiplied by 28 it gives the answer of 160 grams per mole so what it indicates it indicates that the total amount of the saturated hydrocarbons present in a given sample of oil are in the range of 160 grams per mole so all this matter I referred by using a textbook of engineering chemistry written by Jain and Jain.